hi youtube and uh, today we are talking about ram's horn snail now this one the one that you see there or the one that i'm talking about they are uh, quite special to me they are really wonderful the reason the best reason that i could say why they are best is because they will never harm your green vegetation anything that you have it is dead or uh, you know it's damaged or it has algae or algae on it they will have it and they will leave the green part as it is and uh, because of that you will never have any problem yes they could outnumber your you know fishes they will rapidly grow in your tank but it's it's always good and you can always control them by putting a spinach leaf or a, you know you can put an almond leaf and uh, you can collect them manually and you can throw them out they are not very small so you can easily have them with your hand you can pick it up in your hand and once you put a leaf there you know they can uh, you can easily collect them and uh, you can either you can sell them or you can you know dispose them you can put them into a different pond or different way tanks that you have and uh, trust me they are very wonderful and they work really well and now uh, don't worry this is a assassin snail there but uh, it's it has died long time back so that one is not active so again the other way of controlling this ramson snail is with uh, assassin snails they will do their job really well and get them all under control for you guys have a try with these and let me know if these works for you because this has been working for me it has been it has not been uh, quite a long time me with them but uh, they have been doing wonderful job for me and uh, you know you, i don't know whether you able to see but uh, i got some al algae or uh, algae on my this on the walls of the aquarium the glass wall and uh, they have been doing a wonderful job over them you know you can also another but there's a video on youtube which shows uh, how these you know they clear it up with their small mouth and uh, they prefer to eat a very tiny little hair like vegetation so and uh, they are not very threatening to our planted aquarium for me they are just awesome maybe these ones are up to breeding i don't know possibly that's all guys have a great time with your planted tank see you from me bye